you have a little bit of talent and you could apply some work ethic, you could apply some hustle, you can make a plan around it, you can discover and work your story and tell your story in a compelling way, you can do it, man. Like you really, really, really can. And anybody that tells you you can't is lying to you. What's up guys, my name is Ruslan. I am a hip hop and spoken word artist from San Diego, California, North County to be specific. I run a boutique hip hop label called King Stream Entertainment. I'm a part of a collective called Dream Junkies. Um, some of the artists that you may be familiar with are my crew Dream Junkies, my man John Gibbs, Belief, and we create positive, encouraging, uplifting, empowering music to help you do what it is that you believe you've been created to do. And so I'm gonna give you five tips to help you start to make revenue and start to progress in your art and how that practically looks from my standpoint. I've been a full-time artist for about a year now and I've been doing music for maybe 10 years. And once I started implementing some of these practical things, that's when I really started seeing the, the, the needle move, when I started seeing momentum and I was able to transition from working a day job to working a day job and hustling and it kind of being a 50-50 revenue stream to finally transitioning and being a full-time creative entrepreneur. So the first thing I would say that you have to do is you have to create work for yourself. You have to create work that adds value. You have to create work that engages in, in, in encounter with the average consumer. If you create work, start right where you're at, meaning how many friends do you have on Facebook right now? How many friends do you have on Twitter that are following you and fo you following them back? Start right where you're at and create compelling work that adds value to them. Start right there. The first thing, you've got to create work. The second thing is you've got to create consistency. The more consistent you are with your work, the more people look forward to it. And if the work is really valuable, then people will connect with it. Now, consistency is subjective to what you want it to be. Consistency can be dropping a song once a month. Consistency can be dropping a song once a week. That's what we did for a full year. We would drop a song every single week where we would do a thing called Remix Wednesdays. This is in 2011. 2011, we dropped a song every single week. Remix Wednesdays, people would tweet or email us requests of songs that they wanted us to remix, popular songs. So we would take a song that they sent us, we'd find the instrumental for it, or we'd have one of our producers remake the instrumental, and then we would drop it every Wednesday through SoundCloud and YouTube and all these different platforms. So we created consistency. And with that, we also created connection. Remember I told you that we asked people to email us or tweet us requests that they had of remixes, their popular song on the radio and how they wanted to hear our take on it so we created consistency and we created connection and we were always creating work and adding something and putting something out in the universe so once you do those three things i think those those get the ball rolling you'll you'll start to see the needle move if you're if, if you have some intrinsic talent and you you understand between good and bad art you understand between good and bad beats and production and lyrics you develop that crap you'll start seeing the needle move really fast once you create work you create consistency you create connection at that point is when you have to figure out how to create wealth Meaning, what we had to do, speaking for me and my wife, we had to create wealth by becoming debt free. We paid off all of our bills. We were $45,000 in debt. I got sued, I got foreclosed on, I had uh, my accounts levied. And in that process, I discovered a program uh, by Dave Ramsey uh, called FPU, Financial Peace University. And once I discovered that program, I started applying these principles of, how to save a thousand dollars for an emergency fund how to snowball my debts how to get on a monthly budget how to just pay attention to my finances because so many of us don't know how to do that we weren't raised that way and i learned how to create wealth i learned if i work harder and i work smarter and i hustle that i could actually generate more at my job and i could generate more in my music and in my in my uh and my art and so I started to work I started to create consistency I started to create connection and I started to create wealth I was working my job and paying off debt and I, we did that for 18 months and it was very 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 hard it was very difficult it wasn't something that was easy but it taught me something it taught me that I can create wealth after having put in the work I can create wealth for myself by doing things like features I did a feature sale people started hitting me up 
I would never do features. I thought that was below me. But I was like, man, I just got sued. My accounts are levied. I don't know how I'm going to eat. Let me try to sell the, the, these features. Also, these features. All of a sudden, I'm getting anywhere from $200 to $800 for a 16 bar verse. I'm like, yo, this is lit, right? So I start hustling features. I remember in two weeks, I made over $3,500 doing features. And that's when it hit me like, this can be used to create wealth for me. And so I paid off my debt practically, and then I started saving. Um, we saved about six months of expenses. We cleaned up our finances, cleaned up my credit score, started paying attention to my day-to-day -day activity, how I was spending, not being frivolous, but also knowing where to spend and where to invest money. And I created wealth for myself, creating, you know, practically just means monetizing your music. Once you've been consistent, once you've connected with your audience, once you've made great art, you need to figure out how to monetize your art. There's so many different platforms now from Apple Music to Tidal to YouTube that, that are revenue streams, right? You can do um, features for people, you can sell beats, you can sell leases, you can do performances. There's so many different ways to create revenue streams for yourself that you can't be limited to just one way of thinking. I have to put an out album, press CDs and go hustle it. You have to think outside of the box, right? Maybe for you, you have a really dope crew name, so you create merchandising for it, right? That's what I'm wearing right now. My, my crew is the Dream Junkies. We have merchandise. We got hats. We got hoodies. We got t-shirts. We got tank tops. We got everything that you could possibly think of. We make it. We hustle it. We flip it. We, we sell it at shows. We sell it on our website. That's a, that's a revenue stream, right? We sell our music on iTunes. That's a revenue stream. We, we put our stuff up for streaming. That's a revenue stream. We put our stuff up uh, on YouTube, that's another revenue stream. Our music videos, the comments, engaging with our audience, that's a revenue stream. Um, features, shows, these are all different revenue streams. And so you gotta think, how can you diversify those revenue streams? And so creating wealth, that's, that's crucial. And then once you do that, then you have to create time management. Create time for yourself. One of the hardest things to do is to hustle your, your, your music while at the same time working a day job. And I did that for three, four, five years where you know, there was a season of my life where I was going to school full time, I was working 30 hours a week and I was doing music. And I had to learn how to balance all that. I had to learn that I'm gonna go to work, that I'm gonna come home from school, that I'm gonna spend and stay up until 12 hours a night, you know what I mean, to, to, until 12 a.m. at night working on my craft and making music. And I sacrificed sleep, I sacrificed Netflix and chill. I sacrificed all those things that we think are necessities, but they're really just luxuries. You don't need to keep up with the latest episode and the latest season of whatever it is that you're watching. You don't need to watch every single Breakfast Club interview. You don't need to watch every single video on World Star Hip Hop. Scale back and figure out the things that really matter. And if you're working hard at your job and you're working hard on your hustle, your music, your art, scale back some of those other things. Um, Gary Vaynerchuk talk, talks a lot about this, right? He says this is the, the six to, to midnight time. If you work eight hours a day, you could work another six hours, six to 12, get your butt back up at 6 a.m., go to the gym, make sure your body's healthy, make sure you're eating well, and you have to create time management. Because here's the deal, what's gonna happen is, is once you actually get to the place of being a full-time creative entrepreneur, which is where I'm at now, you're gonna have to still learn how to work hard. I transitioned in that, okay, I was working a job and then I was working at home after. But then I had to transition because I had a family and I was finally doing music full time, but I had to learn how to manage my time, how to work hard at my craft and work hard at my hustle and also how to balance that with family time. If you don't know how to balance that and, and work hard and then turn it off when you're 20, 21, 22, 23 years old, it's gonna be very difficult if and when you do make it full time as an artist. But the reality is, you can do it. This is the, the this is another renaissance that we're living. If you're halfway talented and you could understand how to tell your story, you could understand how to do the things I impl that I talked about. If you could understand how to do the things that I talked about in this video, if you could understand how to create dope work that adds value, whatever it is that you're doing, if you could figure out how to create connection with your audience, if you could figure out a way to create consistency, if you could figure out a way to create wealth, if you could figure out a way to create time management and balance all these activities, you can do what it is that you love to do full time. And it's really dope. And it's not some mountain that, that you will never uh, climb over. That if you plan your life and you work hard at these things, that it is something that you can walk into. So I want you guys to be encouraged. Um, I want you guys to, to, to live with a little risk. If you're 21, 22, 23 years old, man, you don't, you don't have 
that many responsibilities. If you're not married, you ain't got a family, like yo, life has handed you an ollie oop in the era of SoundCloud and the era of Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook, like life has handed you an ollie oop. And if you're talented, and by talented, I mean like there's something inside of you that you've always had a knack for creating art and making beats or rapping. And there's something that people around you look and say, wow, this dude is dope. Like, not, I'm talking about just your friends, right? Cause you don't want American Idol syndrome. I'm talking about like, People that tell you, like, yo, you're legit, and you step on out platforms, and there's confirmation. You go to an open mic, and people bug out, like, yo, he's dope. If you have a little bit of talent, and you could apply some work ethic, you could apply some hustle, you can make a plan around it, you can discover and work your story and tell your story in a compelling way, you can do it, man. Like, you really, really, really can. And anybody that tells you you can't is lying to you. My name is Ruslan. Thank you guys for checking me out. Shout out to my man, Curtis King, all the good work that he's doing. If you want more information on me, just go to kingstreament.com. You can follow me at Ruslan KD. Peace out.